Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Alex with Craft Me Geek and today I'm going to be filming a lot of stuff back to back. So I think I have at least three hauls worth of stuff left. So we're slowly getting there. I started making progress and then I spent over $70 in one trip. So I got a little backed up again, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So I'm just gonna start showing you some stuff. This is going to be from several different stores, several different visits, possibly multiple visits to each store after different uh, products have been put out. So, yeah, we'll just start with whatever is right here. I found more Thai blind boxes. Before, the only ones I'd found were the white boxes with the rainbow question marks on them. This time I found the rainbow boxes with the white question marks on them. They had four different colors. They had pink, orange, purple, and green. This is series three. Four, eight, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen different ones to collect. You have a little monkey, the cheetah, the poodle, the Dalmatian. I'm not sure what muffin is. Then there is a two different unicorns, an owl, a seal, a penguin, a flamingo, and a bear. And then a mystery one that I have no idea what it is. So those were super cute. So I did get one of each color. I actually got two of the orange ones. Orange is my favorite color, so when it comes to opening them on camera, I always pick one that I would have gotten for myself. I'm going to open this one on camera, just so we can see what these look like. See what I get here. And they are taped on the top and bottom so people can't look in them. And they are wrapped in individual packages. There's a collector's sheet. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's so cute. Got the little Dalmatian. And these are little plastic figures. Is the head swivel? No. And they have pretty eyes, and there's a little plastic tag made there. It says tie. So that's really cute. That is really cute. I like that. So there is that. And the checklist. Oh, there's a lot more to collect than just what's on the box. Oh no, okay. This paper has multiple series on it. Series one through three. So depending on which one you get, like which series you get, these are the possible animals you could get. So, it's fun. I think last time I got the little blue penguin ice cube. So the white boxes are C series two, and these rainbow boxes are series three. So there's that. And let's see what's in here. Okay, so, so there's some more blind toys in here. I found some more Hatchimals. These are season two. 100 plus to collect. Find the golden Hatchimal. For anyone who doesn't know what a Hatchimal is, it is a little egg that you hold and rub so that the egg cracks. And then there is a little animal inside that looks something like these. So they're really cute very popular. These little packets are like four dollars I think at Walmart. So it's a good, great deal when you find them with Dollar Tree. And then I also found this Trolls blind bag. This is series seven and there are 12 to collect in this series. I have found so much Trolls stuff at the Dollar Tree that I've decided to do two of the Trolls themed um, Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. So I've picked up a few more random Trolls things here and there because I 
am going to make two boxes instead of just one because I have found so much stuff. So there's that. And then I picked up this little coloring book, activity book thing. My fun day on the farm coloring and activity book. This is the one with the little handle. I thought it was super cute. This is by Greenbrier. And it has a sheet of stickers as well as several little coloring pages in there. So I thought that was really cute. So I just grabbed one of those. This next section is going to be a huge chunk, chunk of makeup and beauty products and stuff like that. So I picked up a couple more of these shadow switching sponges. This is by Sassy and Chic. So I did grab two of those. I grabbed some more hard candy items. I found the hard candy stand line 12 hour mechanical gel <laughs> eyeliner eyeliner in blackest black. Now I think they did put this out at one of my stores um, early on when they started putting out hard candy stuff. So this was like one of the first items that I found in my stores, but I haven't seen it in about a month, month and a half, I think. So they did put some of these back out. They had a full, um, two full pegs of them in the makeup area. So either they found a new box or they got another shipment. This is color 872. And then they also put out some more of the Hard Candy Look Pro Ultimate Contour and Sculpt Kit in light to medium. And I found these particular ones at the store that did not get light to medium the last time they put them out. They only had medium to deep. So this time they had out the light to medium. So I did get two more of those. And then this is an item that I haven't seen at all in any of my Dollar Trees as far as hard candy. This is the Hard Candy Fox in a Box Uptown Girl. So this is number 1345 Uptown Girl Marbleized Baked Blush. Now they did have one called Party Girl Out, and I think that was a Marbleized Baked Bronzer. I don't think that one was a blush, I thought that one was a bronzer, but yeah. And this one is actually peach scented. So I thought that was really cool that we got some more of these in. So I did get four of these. And they had several of them. They had like four or five pegs full. So me buying four did not make a dent in the stock at all. They'll probably still have a ton the next time I go in that store. Okay, now moving over here. I did buy a plastic trash can that looks like the woven basket type stuff, but I have it full of stuff, so. I got one of the Pond's Perfect Color Complex Anti-Marks for Natural Color normal to dry skin beauty cream. I did get one of these. Clinically proven to fade away dark marks for natural color. I got one of the LA Colors Professional Series Diamond Lip Gloss. This is an BLG353 Beaming Bronze. And then I also got one of the LA Colors Professional Series Lip Gloss and Lip Liner Pencil with Sharpener. This is in BC132 Topaz. Defines, moisturizes, and enhances lips with luscious shine.
Then I got some beauty tools. I have no idea how well these are going to work, but I hope that they're good. I got one of the toenail clippers. Most of our clippers are getting dull, so I just went ahead and got one of those. Thought I'd gotten one a little smaller than that, but I guess not. Then I got the three-piece mini tweezers. If these don't work well for um, grooming and stuff, then I will just put it in with my crafts because I have a lot of small beads and sequins that those will be useful for. And then I got one of these cuticle remover and pushers. Easily pushes back and removes cuticles. And then I got one of these fashion nail files with case. I got the teal pineapple one. And then I got some more face masks. I don't need any face masks. I honestly haven't even used a face mask before, so I don't know why I keep buying them. But I did get one of each of these Freeman Feeling Beautiful face masks. I got this Polishing Charcoal and Black Sugar Gel Mask and Scrub. Instantly detoxes pores and exfoliates for smooth skin. Dual action mask. Let me get that to focus for you. And then I got one of the Deep Clearing Manuka Honey and Tea Tree Oil Clay Mask and Cleanser, Dual Action Mask, inst instantly deep cleans and absorbs oil without over drying. I got one of the seaweed and sea salt mud mask and scrub, dual action mask, instantly cleanses and it exfoliates for renewed skin. And then I got the avocado and oatmeal clay mask, instantly deep cleans and nourishes for fresh skin. those. And then I picked up one of the Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Bath Salt. 100% naturally pure, up to 84 plus minerals. This is the one pound bag. So I did go ahead and just get one of those. These have been out for a little while. I've passed it up every time I've seen it, but I don't know. I just figured I would go ahead and grab one. There's that. Then I got one of the Plackers Micro Mint uh, Mint Dental Flossers. This is the one in the little hard case. This has 12 flossers in there. I did get this just mainly for the case so that when we travel we can have something to put them in. Here I get that. And I think that's the last of the beauty items over here should be. So I found some new magnets and I did just get these for my little file cabinet at work because I thought they were so cute. This one says my brain has too many tabs open <laughs> which is definitely my brain. So I thought that was absolutely adorable. And then I got this one that says keep moving forward. And I absolutely love all of the keep moving forward quotes. So there's that. I got some food products. So I got this McCormick bourbon chicken skillet sauce. No high fructose corn syrup, no MSG, no artificial flavors. Serves four, just add chicken. Um, nine ounces. 
and I did actually buy two of these. I've already taken one in the house and I actually cooked up some chicken and put this with it and I used some of the minute rice, um, little garlic rice cups that I got to go with it and it was actually really good so I do like this. So this is, yeah, I only saw the one um, flavor at my store so I don't know if there are any more of these out there. I've never even seen this before so I didn't know that existed until I saw it at Dollar Tree so that was pretty cool. And then I got some of these Martinelli's um, Rosé Sparkling 100% Juice. This is Apple Raspberry. Now I did pass this up or just overlook it the first time it was put out at one of my stores and then I had to go on a hunt to find it. So I went across town to a store that's a little less uh, frequented by people. So I found these over there and then a few days later my um, the store, one of the stores that I visited the most actually got some more in, so. But yeah, I got several of these. I think I got six of them in total. I've already taken some of them in the house, though. So I did get several of these. So many bags. And this is already at 20 minutes, so I think I'm actually going to end this video here, and then I'll just start recording again. I didn't realize it had gotten so long already, so I'd like to thank you for stopping by and joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons down below. It would really help out this channel, and I hope you all stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.